I'm 30th District State Representative Katrina Acey. I'm honored to represent the people of Federal Way, Algona, Pacific, and portions of Milton, Des Moines, and Auburn. Thank you for allowing me to serve you. As many of you know, the number one topic in Olympia right now is the state operating budget. Today, I would like to give you a brief update on the big budget pit picture. At noon on April 4th, the majority party in the House introduced their budget plan in House Bill 1087. The bill was rushed to a public hearing that same afternoon, not leaving any time for the public and fellow legislators to view the nearly 500-page document. Nevertheless, the bill received a hearing on that Monday and was passed out of committee the following Wednesday, April 6th. You may have seen the rallies about budget cuts at the Capitol on the news last week, but what you may not have heard is that the budget spends a record high $32.4 billion. Our state tax collections grew an additional 14%, or $3.85 billion, over the 2009-11 budget revenue. That's promising news. So why all the discussion about a $5.1 billion budget deficit? It's simple. Since 2006, the majority party has continued to spend more than we are bringing in with tax collections. They have used one-time fund transfers and a $5 billion in one-time federal bailout money to pay for ongoing programs. Now our capital funds are virtually gone and federal money will not be coming to Washington State again. So we have to, a myriad of promises that we cannot keep. I hope that explains how the budget writers can spend more than $2 billion more than the last budget cycle and still fall short of funding for education, public safety, and programs for the developmentally disabled. Last Saturday, the budget was voted out of the House and I voted against it, mostly because I objected to the cuts in education funding. The majority party cut $56 million from school funding on top of previous cuts. The budget also cut $6 million for the school lunch program, which I did not support. However, levy equalization and funding for nationally certified teachers are both still in the budget. I consider those two huge wins. I was also concerned about the cuts made to the Developmentally Disabled Employment Program. This program is one of, that helps children and adults integrate into our communities and gives them a sense of pride and accomplishment. There are some things in the budget that I liked, instead of, but instead of prioritizing the most vulnerable in education, budget writers simply spent more on government programs, the result of which were cuts to important services in our schools. The budget is now in the Senate for consideration. If you would like specific information on the budget, please feel free to call my office. As a final reminder, I always welcome visitors in Olympia during a session. Just contact my office to schedule an appointment. I am looking forward to re returning back to the communities full time after legislature adjourns on April 24th. I'm Katrina Acey, your 30th District Representative. Thank you again for the opportunity to serve you.